Hi guys and welcome to 123 My T's tutorial on how to set up Outlook to connect to your Gmail account. Okay guys, so basically what we want to do today is we want to set up Outlook uh, uh, 2013 to connect through to um, our Gmail account. So the first step uh, to do that is to make sure that your Gmail account is actually set up to um, to use IMAP or what is called IMAP and that's that's the type of um, uh, mail setting that we're going to use to connect our Gmail account. So what we'll do is log into your Gmail account, go into the cog bar here, go into settings, all right, and that will bring you to this page here. Go to uh, forwarding pop IMAP. Right, and make sure that your IMAP is enabled. Okay, that's enabled there, so that's great. And we'll just minimise that. Now, if we want to open up Outlook, so we'll go to our Charms menu, go to Search, click on Apps, type in Outlook, it pops up, hit Enter. Okay, it wants us to create a profile name. There's two ways you can do it. We can do it through running the Outlook client. So let's do it that way first. We'll call this Gmail One. Just a profile name. So this is just the name uh, that Outlook recognises that you can recognise the account for. So I could actually call this anything. It doesn't doesn't really matter. Just the name of the account. Click OK on that. Put in your name. Adams, put in our Gmail account, or your Gmail account, put in your password, alright, just hit next, alrighty, and it's that easy and you can actually go add another account and it will bring you back to this screen. We're just going to keep going there. Alright, and you'll see our email will come in here. Alright, you can see there's our Outlook test messages and you can actually see those are all the emails that we've downloaded there in our other account. Okay, so you can actually get it through your Outlook. Uh, error Outlook window here, and then obviously the idea behind this is you've got a lot more functionality than what you do uh, within the in the web browser. Okay, so that's the way to, that way to do it. Um, what we'll do now is we'll remove that account. And I'll show you how to remove the account if you bring up your charms menu again. Go to search, type in control panel, hit enter, go to your user accounts, go into mail, go into show profiles. Okay, now, as you can see, there's our Gmail one, that's the name that we, we called this account uh, earlier. What I'm going to do is just remove that. And we can also add in the account this way. Okay, so I'll just, I'll just show you that again real quick. I'll bring up the charms menu, go to search, type in control panel. Go to add user accounts. Go to mail. Click add. We'll call this Gmail2. So type in your name. So this is your name here is just a display name. So I could put anything in there. I could, I could put uh, Joe Blogs. Doesn't really make much difference. And your email address. So put in your Gmail account. Oops. And your password. See it's logging on the server and sends a test mail. So that test mail 
is this this Outlook test message. Uh, but let's just bring up the Outlook there. Alright, so that's how you bring up and that's how you add and you can see there's our new test messages each time we log on send uh, Outlook sends a test message. Okay, so that's that's pretty much how you how you do it. Um, uh, so I don't think there's anything else we really need to show you. Um, possibly the only other thing here is when you go into this mail accounts here and then show profiles, you've got these two options here. One is prompt for profile to be used and one is always use this profile. So let's just say we had a Yahoo account in here. What we, what we could actually do, if we got two accounts in here, one's a Yahoo and one's a Gmail account, we could actually press prompt put a dot in here, prompt for profile to be used. And what it will actually do when we close this, we close down the Outlook. Okay, if we go and start up the Outlook again, it will actually see how it's given, allowing us to choose a profile now. So we can choose either account. This is handy if you've got multiple accounts, multiple, you could do it with multiple Gmail accounts or you can do it with, with um, multiple Yahoo accounts or even uh, exchange accounts as well. All right. Okay guys, so uh, that's the end of the tutorial. If this was helpful, please leave some feedback and a thumbs up. Um, yeah, so leave some feedback on the website. Thanks a lot guys. Bye-bye.